This is a story of Susie. Today is the last day of school before the holidays, said the teacher. Hooray! Hooray! So, let's draw the things that you can see in winter. What fun, said Miffy, and she began to draw. All morning the children made beautiful drawings. Aggie drew a yellow sledge. And Winnie drew a brown tree with snow on it. Melanie drew a hat and a yellow scarf with a green stripe. And Miffy drew a picture of her yellow skis and a picture of a snow bunny. Then it was time for break and all the children went outside to play. I'm so excited that I'm coming to stay at your house during the holidays, Melanie said to Miffy. Me too, said Miffy, and on New Year's Day we can give a party for all our friends. Let's invite Winnie and Aggie. But Winnie and Aggie couldn't come. We're celebrating New Year at home with our family, said Aggie. Oh, I know, said Miffy. We can invite Grunty, Poppy Pig and Auntie Alice. Yes, said Melanie. And Snuffy and Boris and Barbara too. Let's make some invitations. The break was over and the children went back indoors. Miffy had an idea. Let's turn our drawings into invitations, she said. What a good idea, said Melanie. So, on the back of their drawings, they glued on some stars and stamped a big number one for the first day of the new year. Next, they decorated four different envelopes. One for Poppy Pig and Grunty, one for Boris and Barbara, one for Auntie Alice, and one for Snuffy. Finally, they blew up four differently coloured balloons. the invitations with long ribbons to the balloons. At the end of the day, the teachers said goodbye and wished them a happy holiday. I'm sure your friends will love those invitations, she said. My father can help us deliver the invitations in his car, said Miffy. As they scooted along, the wind blew the balloons this way and that. So the girls held on tightly to the ribbons. Suddenly, Melanie hit a bump. She let go of her balloons and fell to the ground. Oh no, cried Miffy, and she let go of her balloons too. Are you all right? she asked as she helped Melanie to get up. I'm okay, said Melanie, but our invitations are gone. I know, said Miffy. The wind has blown them away, but I'm glad you're not hurt. Four bright balloons fly like a kite, red and yellow, green and white. First the white one floats away, three balloons are left to stay. White like a cloud, high in the sky, where will this balloon fly? So the king and queen held a big party to celebrate and they all lived happily ever after. What a beautiful story, said Grunty. Yes, wasn't it? And now it's bedtime. Poppy? cried Grunty. 
I think I saw something outside. It was round and white. Can I go out and have a look? No, Grunty, said Poppy. It's too cold and you are wearing only your pyjamas, so I'll go instead. Poppy opened the door and looked out. She looked to the right. And she looked to the left, but she saw nothing strange. So she walked to the side of the house and she looked again. And then on the other side, but there was nothing there either. There's nothing outside, Grunty. So now we really must go to bed. Grunty was disappointed. She was sure that she had seen something. Good night, Grunty. Sleep well, said Poppy. Good night, Poppy, said Grunty. And they both fell asleep. Outside, the wind started blowing harder. The balloon zigzagged across the window. Grunty whispered. Poppy, wake up! There is something outside! Poppy woke up and saw a shadow move across the room. Wait here, Grunty, while I get a broom, whispered Poppy. With the broom in her hand, Poppy crept slowly up to the window. Carefully, she opened it and jabbed the broom outside. When she pulled the broom back in, there was a burst balloon dangling from the end. Grunty laughed. We were scared of a balloon, said Poppy. Look, said Grunty, there's a ribbon hanging from it. Poppy pulled at the ribbon. I think it's stuck in the window frame, said Grunty. Poppy reached out of the window and pulled the ribbon loose. She saw that there was an envelope at the end of the ribbon. There's a picture of Boris and Barbara on the front. How exciting, said Grunty. May I open it? Of course you may, said Poppy. Grunty opened the envelope and saw the beautiful drawing inside. I think Boris and Barbara are inviting us to a New Year's party, said Poppy. Really, said Grunty. How wonderful! Yes, said Poppy. But first we'd better get some sleep. Good night, Grunty. Good night, Poppy. And they dreamt about the party. But the only thing was, they thought the party would be at Boris and Barbara's house.